Following the conclusion of the election, the time has come for introspection, stock taking, review, and evaluation. Since the conclusion of the election, diverse opinions have been expressed by political parties, candidates, observers, analysts, and the general public on aspects of the elections that took place in February and March. Such diverse opinions should normally be expected, and the Commission welcomes all of them insofar as their purpose is to improve the future conduct of elections and to consolidate our democracy. The Commission has consciously not joined in these commentaries in the immediate aftermath of the election for several reasons. First, our preference is to listen more and draw lessons rather than join in the heated and often emotive discussion on the election. Second, since we plan to conduct our own review of the election, we see no need to preempt the process. Third, the Commission would not want to be seen as defensive or justificatory in joining the ongoing discussions. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, several issues around the election are subjudice, and it is not the intention of the Commission to either undermine or promote the chances of litigants in the various election petition courts beyond what is required of us by the legal process. I can also confirm that we have received 215 case files from the Nigeria police following their arrest and the conclusion of investigation into electoral offenses arising from the 2023 general election. We are working with the Nigerian Bar Association, the MBA, to prosecute the alleged offenders.